Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker down here at Lust Hills Harley Davidson, and look what we have today. Isn't that just a beautiful machine? I am absolutely impressed with this thing. I love the color, I love the look. Black, reef blue, got this pewter stripe. I think that's pewter, I'm not sure. Just absolutely gorgeous. Got the running lights, daymakers. Got the beautiful lowers on it. The crash bars, front and rear. Just a gorgeous thing. Just a gorgeous thing. This is a Harley Davidson Ultra Limited 2022 model. It's got the uh, M8, 114 cubic inch engine, the uh, four valves per cylinder. That's why it's an M8. Air and liquid cooled. The heads are liquid cooled in this model here. It's also got these little air vents in here. Let me see if I can get those to work. So you can open and close these to certain degrees. Right there. Isn't that cool? Let the air flow through. Six speed transmission. I just love these engines. It's my favorite Harley motor right now. The M8 puts out, uh, the 114 puts out about uh, 97 horsepower, we think, and about 122 foot pounds of torque. That's about 165 newton meters. Can you imagine that? This thing, this thing has torque from, I mean, from a standstill, it's got more. At idle, it's got more torque than most any other motorcycle on the road. Clutch on these things is just the best feel you can imagine. Just the best friction zone, the best everything. I was looking on their website. I think they have uh, half a dozen different color options for this bike. And all of them come in either black or chrome. This is the chrome version. I, I'm an older guy, so I like the chrome. But just a beautiful thing all the way around, isn't it? So things that stand out on this, of course, one is, is the bow wing fairing. And I just love that, you know, with this, uh, these little uh, wind deflectors on the bottom here. Let's step up here and take a look at the inside of that. What I really like about them is the fact that the gauges are up high, and that's where, you know, more line of sight. Very good for that. Fuel gauge, speedometer, tachometer, voltage meter on this side. And we'll talk about the entertainment center here in a minute. Other things to point out real quick on this thing as far as uh, luxury options go. This is a full luxury bike, by the way. Our... Uh, running boards for both the uh, rider and the passenger. Gigantic, comfortable. Look at the size of that seat. Just a beautiful thing with speakers. I think they're five and a half inch speakers or something like that there. There's a really a lot going on on the front here. So you got the ferry on the front there, like I said. That beautiful, all that beautiful chrome. You've got 49 millimeter forks. Um, the uh, forks themselves, the tubes are covered, so that's protected. Dual disc brakes on the front. And I think they're four piston calipers. Each one is four pistons. So absolutely, you know, lots of lots of stopping power. These have got the slicer two wheels on them with the gloss black paint. I love the way the fender goes all the way down here. You know, it done. It's just uh, very well done on their part. I love the way this whole front end looks. You know, the the lights, the blinkers, the, the everything just put together properly. Just very well done. And just look at this little cubby here. I mean, this whole front end is just really something to see. Uh, fuel is in here. It's a six gallon tank. That's 22.7 liters. Wheelbase for this hot rod is uh, 64 inches. That's 626 millimeters. Ground clearance. It's got a lot of ground clearance. 5.3 inches. That's 135 millimeters. And uh, I think this, the Ultra Limited has the taller shocks on the back, the inch taller shocks, they have a little more suspension on the back, and because of that, the seat height is, uh, I think it's 27 and a half inches at 699 millimeters. Just a gorgeous thing. This bike, the number we all want to hear, what does this thing weigh? 917 pounds. This is a big boy motorcycle. It's 416 kilograms. I would gather that this is probably the heaviest motorcycle I've ever ever ridden. It's just a phenomenal amount of weight. Just amazing how what this thing weighs. But when you when you're moving it doesn't it just doesn't feel like it. You know these things are so well done they've got so much torque. You know it just it just goes away. And uh, I, while I'm thinking of it, front tire is a 130 70 18. I know uh, regular motorcycles that have that on the back and the back tire is a 180. 180 180 55 18. So it's got 18 front and rear. It's got the gorgeous bags. They're lockable on the hinge. They got one touch open. Look at that. Just come right open. These are, uh, you can remove the bags with these, you remove the bags with these knobs here. Look at that. Just 
easy, easy, easy peasy. Uh, coming over here, the top opens up like that. It's lockable. Open that up like that. You're supposed to be able to get, uh, I think you can get two full face helmets in here. Here's the headset, key fob, little pouch to keep things in. Lots of room back here. Just lots of room. Oh, and a 12 volt socket right here. Very nice, very nice. Let's see if we can close that. Yeah, I love it. And then it's got the luggage rack, of course. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. One beautiful motorcycle. I really like, you know, I, lo I love this whole back area right here. That is really something to see. And well, <laughs> I love everything about the bike. But the, uh, look, at, look at that whole front area. Just gorgeous. But look at this. This is a this is a real saddle of comfort. You know, we've got the uh, giant rear seat, the speakers, the big old backrest, the uh, you know the controls for the volume, just everything you could ever want. Footrests for the passengers. You know, running boards for the passengers. It's just it's just a real thing of beauty. Real thing of beauty. Uh, coming up here, the fueling. Like I said, six gallons, twenty-two point seven liters. Fueling is in here. Um, ignition switch is right there. So coming over here to the knobs, we've got the information button for this little LCD screen down here. We've got traction control, horn, high lows for the lights, push to talk. The left turn signal is on the left hand, left side of the uh, bike. We've got the home button for controlling the uh, boombox, and we've got cruise control. On the right side, we've got the right turn signal, more of the controls for the boombox, a return button, the start button, the hazard lights, and the uh, kill switch. Something else to notice on this bike is the mirrors are part of the uh, are hooked to the handlebars. The last one we rode, the mirrors were hooked out here. The last one, I think we the street light, the mirrors were out here. These have, again, we've got those very nice Harley mirrors. And as always, Harley has the best, you know, the best levers, the best everything. And by the way, look at this heated grips. Ha! I love it. I love it. Beautiful. Their uh, running gear is always the best. And I think these that must be the light button right there. But just a gorgeous thing. Let's turn this on. Let's take a look here. Gear indicators down here, one through six, odometer, all those lights up there. Uh, we talked about the fuel gauge and all that. Uh, this is a touch screen, six and a half inch tough touch screen. Home button, got navigation, music, phone. We're not we don't have a home phone hooked to this right now. Um, this is kind of cool here. Information button. So uh, mileage, trip A, trip B, things like that. Uh, in the center here, we've got engine information. Over here, we've got tire pressure, which I think every bike should have this. I put this on my own bikes. And then uh, I'm not sure what this is. Average speed, fuel usage, things like that. Trip summary, okay. And of course, there's a clock in the center. Uh, over here, let's see what this is. Oh, okay, audio controls. Types of media. Uh, faders. Oh, neat. That's really cool. You do it with your finger. Very nice. Um, volumes. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Anyway, hit the home button here and it takes us back to home. Um, Other things to think about here are the traction control. Here's the traction control button. Look up here, there's a traction control light that's flashing. If you hit this once, now we're in rain mode. You see the little blue cloud? And I think you can hit it again, and it'll hold. If that becomes a solid light, maybe the bike has to be running. But if that becomes a solid light, that means your traction control is off. So you can turn the traction control off. You can put it in rain mode. Let's see, we've got it now in regular mode. Oil, all that neat stuff. Very nice. Um, other things about this motorcycle is the uh, the brakes are linked. It's got ABS brakes front and rear, and the brakes are linked. There's an electronic uh, controller that uh, you put a little bit of the back brake on, the front brake will come on, you put a little bit of the front brake on, the back brake comes on. Anyway, the electronics the electronics on this system, on this these bikes, for one, I think they're the uh, best overall on the market. They've got the great interface. They seem to be the simplest to use, and uh, I like them a lot. And they deserve a video all on their own. Maybe we'll work on one of those coming up very soon. But uh, what a hot rod, huh? What a hot rod. And hey, I'm Fuzzy Biker, and we are going to go take that hot rod for a run. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, hear that thunder, hear that thunder. So much torque. This thing just pulls away without even thinking about it. <laughs> Wahoo! Wow, what a machine. 917 pounds, handles like a pussycat. 
as long as you're moving. <laughs> I love it. I love it. If you're in the market for a new or used Harley Davidson, get yourself down here to Lus Hills Harley Davidson, LusHillsHD.com. Ask for Jimmy and tell him Fuzzy Biker sent you. They can help you out. Wahoo! Whoa, that sounds good. I like it. I like it a lot. Seating. I'm about 5'8", uh, 5'9". Five, five, I've got a 30-inch inseam. I've got my feet on the running boards. My heels are ahead of my knees. The bars are reaching very neutral, very neutral. The bars are reaching for me as much as I'm reaching for them. The seat is incredibly comfortable. I like I like the way this whole thing feels. I love the gauges up high like this. And so comfort-wise, I think it's very comfortable. Seating seating position is very upright, and uh, I think you could ride a thousand miles on this in a day uh, without any trouble at all. My reach to the ground, I think I said the, 20, the seat is 27 and a half inches. About, uh, I think it's just about eight, 700 millimeters. Pulls away like nothing. So much torque. There's 60 miles an hour. At 60 miles an hour, we're tacking about 2200. Let's bump it up to 65. We are tacking, it looks like about 24. Beautiful, beautiful transmissions on these M8s. I think they're actually smoother than the ones with the uh, twin cams. I don't know how that's possible, but they are. They're just very well done. Loads of torque, very good feel on the clutch. Lots of sand on the roads today. We're gonna have to be a little uh, mindful of that. Uh, going down the uh, four lanes back there, it was just beautiful. The fairing did an excellent job. My hands were very well protected. I don't have any gloves on and uh, my, the wind was off my hands. Very good, very good indeed. My helmet did not really buff it at all. This bike's got a very good ride and loads of power. I'm absolutely amazed by that. I don't know what to think of the pipes. Um, I'm kind of a quiet motorcycle guy and I know Harleys need to make a little noise and this, these pipes certainly do do that. They're not overly loud, but they certainly have a rumble. What a beautiful riding machine. This is definitely a breakfast in LA, dinner in Boston three days later bike. You could eat the interstate alive with this thing for sure, especially with a six gallon fuel tank and this wonderful fairing and cruise control, by the way. <laughs> I'm absolutely amazed at how well this fits me. I wonder if a taller rider might need a different seat. Um, I've, I've heard him talk about seats that uh, reach back a little bit. Look at this beautiful Lus Hills right through here. And I say it every time. Get yourself on your motorcycle, run down through the Lus Hills, get yourself down to Lus Hills Harley Davidson, check out their bikes. It's worth the ride. Look, I mean, look at this, it's just gorgeous. LusHillsHD.com. Wahoo! Hey, let's turn the heated grips on. We'll put it on three, see what happens. <laughs> that sound is just amazing. Okay, nobody behind us. Transmission is so good. I really do like these bikes a lot. I really do. We got a little sand on the road here, so we really got to watch it today. We're going to take it a little easy. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, I think that sound's starting to grow on me. I like it. I like it a lot. Boy, this thing has got it, doesn't it? Let's do a brake check here. Whoa! That just peels right down. The brakes on these are linked front to rear. It's got dual disc on the front with uh, four piston calipers on each side. When I do those brake tests, my goal isn't to stop in the least amount of distance, but to see how well the bike, you know, does it have any bad habits? Does it pull left or right? And it doesn't, it's just straight on. If you are enjoying this video would like to see more of these, please hit like and subscribe. Please let us know what you think of this particular video, this particular motorcycle, and the channel as a whole. Let us know what we can put up for you. Wahoo! This is certainly the largest motorcycle I've ever ridden, and it's uh, a very comfortable place to be. I like it a lot. Well, let's see what kind of uh, acceleration we can do here, huh? There's 60. Ha <laughs> ha! Nothing flat. Wow. Oh, and by the way, the heated grips are heating up. I'm gonna Can you hear the rumble? This one really does it well, doesn't it? That transmission just goes right down with no trouble. The clutch has excellent feel. 
friction zone is amazing on a Harley Davidson. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice long throw, positive shifting transmission. <laughs> I like it a lot. So a little bit about the handling of this motorcycle. In the garage, this thing is a beast. At a standstill, this thing is a monster. You're really gonna have to watch it. But once you're moving, let's say uh, parking lot speeds, you're doing pretty good as long as you, you know, five, 10 miles an hour, you're okay as long as you keep your eye on it. But uh, it's something you're really gonna have to pay attention to, especially with somebody on the back. Um, five to 70 miles an hour, this thing's a dream. I've just, I mean, look at this. It just drives very, it's very well balanced, very low center of gravity. It is a large motorcycle, but it's, uh, it doesn't feel like a super large motorcycle. And then as far as the interstate goes, well, I didn't take it on the interstate, but I did take it on the uh, four lanes. And I'll tell you, this, like I said, this would devour the interstate. This is a de interstate devouring motorcycle. Overall, what do I think of the bike? I like it. It's a little big for me, but I do like it. If you are interested in the new or used Harley Davidson, get yourself down here to Lus Hills Harley Davidson, LusHillsHD.com. Ask for Jimmy, he can help you out. They've got a beautiful showroom, over 200 motorcycles here, new and used. They've got uh, excellent staff, they're excellent to work with. Life is short, get yourself out there and ride, ride down to Lus Hills Harley Davidson. Wahoo! I like it. I love the sound. <laughs> I'm starting to really, it's really starting to grow on me. God, <laughs> what a monster motorcycle. This thing is large, guys. This thing is large. I like it. I like it a lot.